the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They're teenagers, they're mutants, they're ninjas, and you guessed it, they're turtles. These pizza-loving, trash-talking, multi-million dollar franchise characters have won the hearts of fans everywhere with their movies, cartoons, toys, snacks, and songs. So here at Channel Frederator, we did some research to tell you things you probably didn't know about them. Go Ninja, go Ninja, go! Number 11. Way back when, the creators Eastman and Lair were quickly offered millions of dollars for the licensing right to the Ninja Turtles. Skeptical that the offer was too good to be true, they quickly drew up a contract on a napkin. All great ideas are started on a napkin. Number 10. The character Shredder was actually inspired by a cheese grater. One evening when Eastman was washing dishes, he caught eyes with a cheese grater. The rest is history. Number 9. Japan created their own TMNT series. This version was an anime. Super Number 8. Shredder was voiced by James Avery, otherwise known as Uncle Phil from The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. He voiced the villain for seven years. We love you, Uncle Phil! Number 7. Raphael has punched Adolf Hitler. In an issue of the Archie's Ninja Turtle comics, Hitler's brain, which has built itself a robotic body, goes back in time to meet its original self. As you can imagine, things escalate quickly, and Raphael punches Hitler right in his face. Number 6. A sequel to the Turtles first featured film was released in 1991. The soundtrack featured rapper Vanilla Ice with the title track Ninja Rap. Ice has claimed this song to be one of his biggest achievements as an artist. Uh, it was the highlight of my life ever. Number 5. The accident that gave Marvel superhero Daredevil his powers is also responsible for the creation of the Ninja Turtles. As fans of the Daredevil, the two creators wanted to reference the story. The canister that hits Matt Murdock then falls into the sewer and mutates a group of turtles. I think we can all agree that is freaking awesome. Number 4. There was briefly a female Ninja Turtle named Venus. Fans didn't seem to love her, and it also didn't help that her one episode was the one where the turtles helped the Power Rangers. Kind of takes away her spotlight when you're fighting alongside everyone's childhood idols. Number 3. The turtles from which the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are based off are called the Red-Eared Sliders. Inspired fans adopted these turtles in mass quantities. Despite an initial craze over the creatures, countless children lost interest and released their turtles into the wild. This actually led to an environmental crisis in the UK. Probably because they were just turtles and not ninjas. Number 2. April O'Neil is a drawing come to life. Like, literally. In Mirage Comics, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, you discover that April O'Neil's father used a magical crystal that could bring drawings to life. Many years ago, he sketched the daughter he wished for, added some crystals, got to put in the crystals, and voila! April O'Neil. Number one! The Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles went on an international concert tour. They sold out stadiums and brought happiness to fans everywhere. But who sponsored these sweaty men in really hot turtle suits? You guessed it, Pizza Hut. Kind of perfect if you think about it. The tour was so successful, it landed them a spot on Oprah. What instruments uh, do you play? Oh, well, you know, like I sing, uh, I sing lead vocals and I play lead guitar, babe. You know, it's totally happening. <laughs> Yo, Cal Bunga, dude. As expected, it was totally rad. Yeah, I said rad.